All right, hey, Vlad Dads, we are here at Wakula Springs. We finally got here from Carabelle, Florida. Had to stop at Walmart, get some food and uh, some other things, but uh, we're finally here. And um, yeah, so let me go ahead and take you uh, on a uh, journey or tour of uh, this area before. We've been here before to Wakula some years ago. We went to the lodge uh, and we stayed there as well as uh, using the uh, springs. So let me turn you around. So we're, here we are in the parking lot and there's roughly about 25 cars. So not a lot of people today. Again, it's a Tuesday. A lot of the kids are in school here in this county. And over here they have a fairly large <clears throat> picnic area. It's pretty, pretty big. And so with this being a working lodge way back in the day, and again, I do not remember the history, but uh, I'll get you that once we get to the lodge itself and we walk around. But uh, as you take this little walk down this way, no doubt these particular buildings over here, except this, this one, looks like it's an add-on, but the brick building was here before. And it looks like it's the style and the architecture of the lodge itself. There's this nice sign inviting you to Wakula Springs. Now right through this building, um, after you go to the restroom, um, it leads you right to the river tours. They closed down their gift shop just because of COVID-19. The great thing about the uh, the restrooms here are that they're air conditioned. So you got drinks here on this side, snacks on the other. There's the men's restroom. Air conditioned. So that sign was leading to the actual lodge itself. And there's the ladies' restroom. There's a pavilion right there. No doubt for... Um, possibly some meeting space. So on these pavers, it's a nice walk down to the boathouse. There's my second daughter. How you doing, honey? How come you're all the way up here and you're not playing? What are you doing here? Well, Tammy needs to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. You mean the air-conditioned bathrooms? <laughs> so here's one of the showers right here. And then let me show you this. I found this by accident. <clears throat> so it gives you an idea of how this place came about. Acknowledgement, the Edward Ball Wakula Springs State Park was acquired from the Nemours Foundation by the state of Florida in July 1986 with the generous indispensable assistance of the Northwest Florida Water Management District and the Nature Conservancy Incorporated. State of Florida, Department of Natural Resources, Division of Recreation and Parks. So there you go, there's a little history on that. So this pathway takes you to the fenced in area of Wakula Springs. If you took this pathway right here, that leads you up to the lodge area, which we'll show you later. Here's the boathouse. Now we've taken uh, tours like this before. So I don't know if I'm going the right way, but uh, Yeah, so last time we took a boat ride and we had to come through here and they give um, all kinds of information. And it's hard to see just because of the reflection of the glass, but they've got information about Wakula Springs in here. So that's where we did the boat tours in here, which aren't running, of course, because of COVID. But hi, how you doing? <clears throat> One of the good things about being a um, fully functional running um, state park is that they have AEDs. So if anybody goes into cardiac arrest, you pull that, perform CPR, and use the AED. So as I said, this is a fenced-in area, and this is the entire Wakula Springs. But again, let me take you to this boathouse and then alongside of it. I like being with you 
Daddy. Okay. So from the boat dock side, you can see, look how clear the water is. Look at that water and see how it's flowing. You can see it from looking at the... Yeah, look at the little fishies. They did tons of tours, but now you can't. Low tide? There's no tides here, honey. We're not at the ocean. So you can see the, the seagrass. See how it's pushing? And it's flowing as the river, uh, oh, as, the, a, as the spring pushes the water. Water bugs. Yeah, as the, the spring pushes the water, and it flows that way. So they got some observation. Um, Binoculars here, obviously they're coin operated. Look how clear that water is, everybody. Beautiful, huh? So this is the area here where you can't swim, because this is where boats are. There is the buoys that demarcate the swimming area, which is right over here. So they've got two floating docks, as you can see. And then all the way at the end over there, oh, did you see that person jump off? So that's about two stories high, two and a half stories high. So there's an upper and lower part. We'll walk over there, but I just want to show you this area right over here. So these guys have their nets and looks like they're uh, catching fish. You guys catching fish? Yeah. Yeah, minnows? Yeah. Cool. Fun. Yeah. Have fun. We caught two. So here are the cypress trees that line the, uh, this one is a big one right there. Cypress trees that line the, close to the shoreline of the, um, the spring itself. Plenty of shade underneath the trees. When we were here last, they had two lifeguards that were working the area, but it's not that busy. So one of the lifeguards set up right here. So here's this area. And then we'll come right over here. You can see everybody's set up and they're lounged around the trees different kind of entrance areas into the actual park itself. We're set up right here, got our chairs, got our food. I can swim under water. Oh, okay, cool. But it's very cold. Very, very cold. So this is the main beach area where our daughters are swimming around. So obviously zero depth entry. We love this beach area. It's great for the kids. So as you can see, this is the far end away from the boats itself. There's that second dock I was talking about. And here we go. Here's the, the joke. That kid just did a twist. Jump in the twist. So you walk up this gangplank here. This is a concrete structure. See the kids jumping here. So I would say it's about five feet from the top of this to the bottom of the water. How deep is it? Can you touch the bottom when you guys jump in? Just barely? Yeah, so it's deep enough, right? So you guys don't get hurt? Yeah. Sweet. Whoa. I just got shamooed right here. So, oh, the lifeguard just jumped in. <laughs> Looks like he uh, rotated. 
Yeah. Is the spring down there? It's right under that white buoy. Underneath the white buoy. Uh -huh. Cool. Oh, no, Okay, let's do it. So as you see and heard from the lifeguard, the, the water is underneath that buoy right there. That's about 50 feet. So we're going to get to the top here and check it out. So you can see the, the, the depth from how shallow it is to the actual deep end right here. There's, there's some people right here that are about to jump. And I got shamooed. <laughs> so we come to the top right here. Again, it's slippery. You got to be careful. There you go. There's your rules right here. There you go. Line up right here. And then you jump. Stealing the buoy. Splash them. Oh. There's some snorkelers going down. How tall is it from the top over here when you jump? 13 and a half. 13 and a half feet? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, move over there. All right, so you saw everybody's coming up to the top here. They love to jump off of this tall thing. There goes a the girl, 13 and a half feet down in the water. I'm going to turn this around so I can go down the steps. Okay, look at the view from 13 and a half feet above the water line. Can I go down? Beautiful, huh? So this is a 360 look at 13 and a half feet above the water line. As you can see, this is where the spring starts from. So this is actually the source for the Wakula River. And it goes down there. Okay, go downstairs, babe. So again, as you can see the scuba, uh, sorry, scuba. The snorkelers are trying to touch the bottom. See if he can try it. It's pretty deep right here. So I'm looking at his skin color and his shorts. Yeah, he didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get splashed? I got splashed. I'm going to film them jumping. Alright, so they're about to jump in. This is the lower part. Probably a little bit more safer for the kids. Yep, there you go. And they got two safety ladders that come up to the top. All right, so bye from Wakula Springs. Again, Blab Dads, if you've ever been here, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell right here. Ding! And let's watch this person here. There you go. There you go. That was almost a belly flop. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs>